want to step inside, it's going to get a little hot, and you want to go cool off with a good show, well, the Footlighters are back with a funny spin on a classic movie. I say the show's going to be hot, too. Uh, right. <laughs> Legally Blonde follows the adventures of a sorority girl turned law student. The Footlighters are telling the story with a musical. Show director and choreographer Kyle Fisher joins us now with Josh Stothang, who plays Emmett in the play. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. And first yeah. of all, congratulations. And we told this to some of your castmates in the 8 o'clock hour over on uh, Arc Cincinnati over on Star 64. Congrats on being sold out yeah. already yes. for this Thank run. You. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, pretty, it's pretty exciting. What do, you, what do you think the expectation level is when you, when you know those crowds are coming in and they're ready for you? They want it. Is it, is it good pressure or bad pressure? <laughs> I'd say it's definitely good pressure. Obviously, it is pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, the cast has been working extremely hard um, we've we've known for about a month now that we've been sold out so we sold wow. out pretty early so we're really you know making sure we get all the final details buttoned up and we're ready to put this show on and yeah it's gonna be very exciting well it's obviously inspired by the movie that a lot of people know very well what's what's different what's the same what do you guys like about it or Go acting it. in it directing it. it yeah <laughs> yeah they uh, the the general overarching story is the same. Uh, just a little bits and pieces uh, changed from there, uh, changed from the movie to the to the musical. Uh, uh, some changes in character, which I think make it more accessible for the stage. Um, so I think those changes just um, just add to uh, add to the show and add to uh, the 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 musical and and the story. Yeah. We're seeing some footage, which looks yeah. so fun. And, and we're seeing some choreography, so let's just dive into that real sure, quick, because you're absolutely. both director and choreographer. Yes. It's obviously a pretty large cast. You, you've, you've got people all over the set dancing. What was it like just getting those components of the show ready? Yeah, absolutely. So I actually started as a choreographer primarily. Um, this is actually my first directing gig, oh, wow. so fun. this is my first time stepping into the director role. And so, you sold out your And run. I sold out. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been actually really fun being in both roles, and I do have an assistant, uh, McLean Paul, He's my assistant director and co-choreographer. So working together, we've been able to seamlessly make those dance numbers and things like that flow right into the scene work, the book work. So it's really, there's never a dull moment on the stage. Doesn't Everything like flows from scene changes to dances to romance to emotion. It's It's got it all. Plus a live dog on stage. I remember two, when, when you guys were two, looking two for dogs. Dog. Yeah. Two dogs. <laughs> How are they doing on stage? It looks like they're doing great. <laughs> they are doing wonderful. We found some great dogs and they're actually the same. They have the same owner. Oh. So, you know, the owner brings them both in and um, their trainer is wonderful. Yeah. Um, she's actually starting a little business. So she's going to have some cards at the theater. So. Um, they're doing a great job. It's fun to have them there, and it, it, everyone smiles when dogs are around. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Exactly. Josh, for you, have you have you done stuff with Footlighters before? And if not, what's your background like? This is actually my first show with Footlighters. Okay. So very excited uh, for that. I, um, I I loved theater my whole life. I've been involved with a couple different community theater shows around the area, but yeah, first one at the Stained Glass Theater, and I'm excited. Uh, Excited to see how it goes. He got the voice for it, too. He does, I know. Uh, 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 He's got good. the look He's got and the voice. Right, that. right. That was really well, good. I know this is the last show of this season. Yes. Uh, but you got a good season coming up, too. If people, is there like a waiting list or anything if the show, you know, since it's sold out, or can people find out? Um, you can always check online at footlighters.org. Okay. okay. Um, sometimes tickets will open up okay. if people, that, you know, plans change. We know that. Um, so you can continue to check at footlighters.org to see if those tickets yeah. have become available. And I like that you mentioned next season, yeah. though, because that has been selected. Okay. Um, if you know the show, yeah, roll, 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 let's roll with Yeah, so, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, so we're opening the season with The Drowsy Chaperone fun. in the fall. Super fun show. Uh, yeah. Then Footlighters has Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Classic. Classic of classics. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, and then Altar Boys. Oh, fun. And then we are rounding out the season with Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. My favorite, one of my okay. favorite movies of all time, so I'm going to have to come see the stage. Don't, don't let that one sell out before one. this one gets some tickets yeah. to it. Um, well, fellas, break a leg. Have a great yes. run. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we'll put the website for uh, Footlighters up at Local12.com, that link as well. So thanks for joining us. And, uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, break a leg. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.